and there was a captain next to me. I asked that captain, hey, we have someone inside. I need to go inside. Can I go? He said yes. And so I knew that I was going to have to suit up. Crawled in, I was met with like a shelf and I ended up turning to the left. As I was turning to my left, uh, something told me to not go that way. And honestly, I couldn't tell you what it was. Uh, I think it was possibly God telling me, hey, like you're going the wrong way. So instead of going to the left, I fully turned around and I decided to do a right wall search. And the last time that I looked down, uh, that's when I saw someone in the back room. And when I saw them, I immediately went to them as quick as I could. You know, I tapped on, hey, hey, sir, fire department. They were unconscious. They were able to rescue that second patient, bring them out onto the front lawn and start working on the patient. Not having, you know, people with me, not having a hose line and not having a radio channel uh, was something I thought about. But I understand that on our department, our firefighters, right? Everyone becomes a firefighter uh, with that goal to help people. And I think this is one of those moments that, you know, you feel the calling maybe more than other times. And you know that you have to do something. Any other firefighter in Los Angeles City would do the exact same that I would. Because the number one theme in our, in our role for firefighters is to save life. After that we save that life, it's to switch back over to the property. Our firefighters then went back inside after those two patients were, were transported to the hospital and they met flashover conditions inside there. These flashover conditions dropped them to the ground. The entire home uh, spontaneously ignited when it reaches flashover conditions and uh, a mayday call went out. And at the time, I thought that either the engine company or I thought that the truck company, which was two you know, groups of firefighters, from my station that I'm very close with. I thought they were dying. Very grateful for everyone that was on scene that incident. I think everyone uh, handled that situation to a very professional level. And I don't think I could have been in that situation without all the training uh, that each and every member has you know, invested into me. And each member has put into me for you know, being there to help me during times um, that are difficult. It sticks with me that this is gonna be a group of people that I'm gonna be with for the rest of my life as friends, brothers, uh, you know, people that I'm gonna trust you know, for my own life. And I'm very grateful for every single one of the members here at 27s um, and for everything they've done.